So you wonder why so many children are taken, but uh, half a million a year. It's called Title IV. It provides the money that the village lives off of, who is now raising our children. These children are not coming from neglected or abused homes. There are children who are. We all know that. We know there's a drug epidemic. And we are told by the media that this is what all these children are for, why they're taking them. But it isn't true. 90% are not with any findings of neglect or abuse. But let me tell you, when they get in that foster home and they get in that group home and they become sex trafficked, they're soon abused. And they do understand what it means then. I want you to know that uh, when you go into foster care, and I, I lived in foster care, the people that think that they want a child and know what they're doing and can love another child that's not their own, they soon find out that that little kid is a test. <laughs> and uh, you don't have that mama's love or that daddy's love that covers their many sins. And so you soon fall into abuse. Now, the people who started off wanting to be the foster parents, they had good intentions, perhaps, although I want you to know that they advertise on Craigslist for foster homes. And I want you to know that there are pedophile circuits running around adopting kids and that they pay money to people to adopt kids under Title IV. A lot of money. That you can adopt a child in case you guys need a job. You can adopt a child and for 18 years get a monthly check to raise them. Perhaps you didn't know. And anything you want to do to them, you can do. And nobody will ever care. There is no accountability. Uh, we have facts and figures to back up this. There's no accountability because you see, the state doesn't want to be responsible for the state. That means that they have to sue themselves. And so that doesn't happen. And so what they do is they cover themselves. They cover their butts. And when a child is killed, when a child is lost, when a child is injured, it, it doesn't get reported to CPS. That's only for the American citizen to get them taken away. When a child is missing for six months, a checkbox is checked off in the computer and the case is closed. Oh, they ran away. But the problem is some of these kids are way too young to run away. But they are not too young to end up in pedophiles' bedrooms. And that's really what's happening. You want to know whenever the FBI busts, many, many people that are arrested, when they do find some kids, they all come from the foster care system. They all are under the state's care. Or they were, perhaps they were checked boxed off. And a, a lot of people are not aware of this because when we go to the media, when we go to the FBI to report that our child is kidnapped, they will not take the report. When we go to the media to report that our child is kidnapped, they will not, they will not air it. They will not do the, uh, they will not interview. And they will give you the same response back. We do not involve ourselves in child custody matters. But you see, when someone takes your child, that is not child custody. That is called child kidnapping under color of law. And that is what's actually happening. So the parents go into a panic. They still trust the system. They still believe in the system. And so they think that things are going to work out. It's going to turn out all right. People will see they haven't done anything to their child. And so they go before a judge who is not a judge, who is acting in what's called an administrative capacity for ad administrative purposes. Perhaps you did not know that all DHR, CPS, DHS, and all the initials that have to do with child protection, all are private corporations with done numbers. On the, it's in the st you can uh, own stock in their company. Uh, all of the, uh, the business that they transact is a private corporation. It is not government. It is it is underneath the executive department of the government, not the judicial. The executive department is the part that deals with separate issues, but you think you're going before a judge when they've taken your child, and that you will get your child back, and none of that ever happens. And so as the stages go, as the parent become more and more 
upset. They blame themselves that they can't afford a $100,000 attorney, but you see the attorneys also are the ones that are helping. They also have uh, stock in the same company, and they are benefiting as the village who is now raising this child. And so one by one, every year until there's a half a million, are taken and not returned. And then these children really do become abused. So we are here to sing for you the story. This is called the Social Workers Theme Song. Actually, it's called Money Time. You might recognize this song. I've kind of altered it. Money. 